Hello again and welcome to another edition of Suds and Country. Hi, I'm Herb Suds and welcome to the show. Today we're at the Barron Art Center in Woodbridge, New Jersey. We have vintage motorcycles we're on display here at the Barron Art Center. And I happen to have Nancy here. You're the program coordinator of the motorcycle program? I'm program coordinator of the Barron Art Center. Oh. I'm one of the curators of the exhibit. Right. Okay. She can take us on a, on a stroll around the room here and we're going to find out what motorcycles we have here. Okay. As we move around the Barron Art Center here at this vintage motorcycle exhibit, Nancy, what do we have? A 1914 Harley Davidson. This is a board track racer, and these were actually raced on a track that was made of boards, but there are no, things, no such tracks in existence anymore. But a friend of mine who owns this actually races this once a year at Davenport, Iowa. They have a board track class in the vintage motorcycle races, and they uh, race it on a flat track. And it's really interesting to see these old motorcycles out there, you know, teens motorcycles ri racing around going 50 to 70 miles an hour. This thing runs. Oh, yeah. I mean, he races. I've seen him race it for the past three or four years. So it's kind of interesting uh, thing. That they're what's, still doing this today. What's this thing up front, this curly cue? That's a spring or is that that's a brake? Fork, no, that's a fork spring. Okay, fork spring. But this has no brakes. This thing it doesn't no. have any brakes. It's a it push any... start, push start, and then there are no brakes. So, well, this has um, pedals. Pedals, uh, yeah, what I don't know what, is, what they, they do. That, oh, the push start, push though. Start, yeah. And uh, when you when you're finished racing, you just have to sort of go off and <laughs> let it stop on its own. And pray. And pray. <laughs> yeah, right. That's it. You better go uphill. There aren't any brakes there, right? Yeah. Try to go pretty in, pretty pretty interesting. 1914 Harley Davidson board track. Is, was this made for the road? No, no. No, no just no. for track track for, racing. Made for tra yeah, made for racing on a board okay. track. Board track. I heard of that and, board track. Yeah, they were, they were, I think they were really too dangerous. There were a lot of uh, serious accidents on board tracks, okay. and they got rid of them. So, As we continue to move around the Barron Art Center, we have a 1913 Yale Twin Chain Drive made in Toledo, Ohio. What do you know about that bike, Nance? It's a beautiful bike, original paint. Um, you can see the original decals on the side. We've got an extra seat for a rider on there, and uh, just a, a very pretty rare bike okay. to find a Yale in this condition anymore. Does it run? Oh, yes, it does. It all runs. I think all the bikes in this uh, whole show are, you know, runnable. What made you get interested in antique bikes? My dad had Indians back in the 1930s, okay. and that's how I, well, how I got interested. So, um, this, this starts with a, bike, with a pedal, too? Yes. Okay. And this has brakes. Yes. Is that a brake pedal? Yeah, it goes to the back wheel. That's how it brakes. Right. Only, only the racer doesn't have brakes. Oh, no, okay. They all have brakes. Okay. I don't know how good they are, but they... Well, they're long, well they stop. <laughs> Eventually. They stop. I like the buddy seat in the back. Right. That's a, for a brave person. For a and, real brave person. Because <laughs> the roads were not in very good condition no. in those days, right? I so. admire those people for racing back in the early 1908, 1909, and all those right. days. Right. The roads were in terrible there, conditions. There were no roads. They had trails. It was trails with potholes, there and that's go. what they were. So. <laughs> Dirt trails, <laughs> huh? A brave soul to get out there and... Tank shift, as they called them. Mm -hmm. A hand shift. A hand shift, rather. All right, we're here in Sudson Country at the Barron Arts Center. And Nancy, what's the 1918 Pope Twin Chain Drive made in Westfield, Mass? Right, Westfield, Mass. I mean, most people think of Springfield, Mass as being the home of motorcycles because Indian was in Springfield, Mass. But Pope was made in Westfield, Mass. And this is a beautifully uh, restored Pope. Um, you know, it's got everything original on it that's supposed to be on there. But it, has, it is a, a more recent restoration. Um, it's also a pretty rare motorcycle, especially to find with okay. everything there. Again, a Pope I never heard of. And, um, you know, it, it was pretty popular at the time. Yeah. You know, it was pretty well known in the teens. All right, it's pretty interesting. It's a nice, great restoration on it. Do you know of anybody else has a Pope, or is this the only Pope you know of? No, I know of other okay. others, but uh, not many. Not many. Yeah, Pope is a rare one. As we continue to move around the Barron Arts Center, a 1925 Ace chain drive four cylinder. Those four cylinders on that side of the motorcycle. That's interesting right. the way they set it up. Right. Yes, this was created by one of the Henderson brothers. You might have heard of Henderson motorcycles. They actually tried to recreate uh, Henderson motorcycles in the past few years. The company had started remanufacturing them, but the original Henderson brothers started off of uh, Henderson that was a four-cylinder, and then the one brother went on to uh, build this Ace, this four-cylinder Ace, and they built Ace from 1920, I think, to 1926, and in the end, Indian bought out Ace, and then they, then they were called the Indian Ace at the end. But this is a very beautifully restored um, Ace. Are these bikes, or any of these bikes so far, um, are on the road, or are they just, just exhibit bikes? No, this, the, I've seen this one on the road, you know. Wow. But 
Um, most of these people own so many bikes, they don't have to ride them very often. You know? Exactly. I see a little belt on now. I wonder what the belt does. That would be pretty interesting to find out. Well, that's just the way they designed it. The other side has a spark plug. Uh, it's missing. I know it's got a speedo drive, but the speedo's not on it. Oh, I see that. But, uh, I see that. Yeah, it's a very high-tech bike for 1925, you know. It is not too many four-cylinder bikes at that time. No, Harleys were all, these, so far, this is the first four-cylinder we looked at. Right. Mm-hmm. All right, you take a look at this first four-cylinder bike built back in 1925. Nancy, what can you say about a 1928 Harley-Davidson JD chain drive three-speed twin? It's very popular. JD was a very popular motorcycle all through the 20s. It really, really just came from the early when we looked at the 1915 were like J models, and then they went to JDs, what they called JDs. But this is, you know, three-speed. That's a big ad advancement over the other motorcycles. How many speeds were on the old ones? Well, a lot of them were single speed, hey, and uh, so now we're getting into you know, more sophisticated uh, transmission cycle. There's a uh, transmission under there. Right, three-speed transmission. Right. 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 Who, this bike also, who owns this bike? Uh, this is owned by someone who also mm -hmm. lives in uh, northern New Jersey. And it's a, very, it's a beautiful restoration. Great color, restoration. It's not a military bike. It looks, the color looks like a military bike, but we've been told that they use, it, the color was popular with Harley because of the roads being so muddy and everything, it didn't show the dirt as much as other colors. Yeah. So that's why they started I, using I, that. But everybody comes in and thinks it's a military bike. I think I read that on one of the folders. You have flowers around here where they used it for so many years, dra like arm, army drag, they called it. Right. Right. It's a, it's a nice looking color combination with the red accents, uh, so it's, uh, it's an attractive bike. Nancy, talk to me about the 52 Harley. Now, this is a 52K model Harley Davidson, and this particular bike is of interest because it was in the movie IQ, which was about Einstein's years in Princeton, and it was written by Tim Robbins in that movie, so we have a little newspaper clipping about that. It was a flathead engine, and um, people always find the K model to be very interesting. Now, was this a knuckle or was this a, a shovel or a pan? It's a flathead. A flathead. Didn't right. they, during, during the 50s, they had the, um, the, the pans? This, well, we're going to see. Oh, okay, we're, we're going, going to a, a pan. Flathead. All right. No, this, oh, they had different models. Different okay. models, right. This okay. is a flathead engine. So. All right. Thanks for being on the show. Appreciate it, Nancy. You're we're here at the Baron Art Center, the Vintage Motorcycle Exhibit.